Hello and welcome back guys to Tech Journal 24. Today we will review Asus Zenfone 9 Mobile. So let's start. All right. Asus Zenfone 9 Mobile was launched on July 28, 2022. The phone comes with a 120Hz refresh rate and 5.90-inch touchscreen display offering a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixels HD+, and an aspect ratio of 20 to 9. The display sports Gorilla Glass for protection. Asus Zenfone 9 comes with 8GB of RAM. The Asus Zenfone 9 runs Android 12 and is powered by a 4300mAh battery. Asus Zenfone 9 is based on Android 12 and packs 128GB of inbuilt storage. The Asus Zenfone 9 is a dual-SIM mobile that accepts nano-SIM and nano-SIM cards. It was launched in midnight black, moonlight white, sunset red, and starry blue colors. It features an IP68 rating for dust and water protection. Asus Zenfone series wasn't always small. Just a couple of years ago, the Zenfone 7 and Zenfone 7 Pro came with the usual 6.7-inch screen that was and still is a dime a dozen in the Android space. But starting with last year's Zenfone 8, Asus pivoted direction with one mandate, the phone must be small. The engineers and designers had hard numbers to aim for, in fact, the width of the device must be less than 70 millimeters. The number, Asus reps say, is because it's about the furthest the average human thumb can reach across horizontally. Asus succeeded in that goal, and the Zenfone 8 was a very easy one-hand phone, and perhaps due to utter lack of competition, it was named the best small Android phone by just about every tech publication. But other than being small, the Zenfone 8 didn't have any other remarkable features. It ran on the same chip as every other Android flagship, had mediocre cameras, and perhaps most damningly, it had one of the plainest and most generic designs I've ever seen. All that changes with the Zenfone 9, it's got a visually striking design that looks and feels great, an improved main camera supported by a miniature gimbal stabilization system, a brand new Snapdragon flagship chip that may be making its debut in North America, and yes, Asus still managed to keep the phone small. With a starting price of $699, the Zenfone 9 is a no-brainer recommendation for not just people looking for a small phone, but those looking for a great value flagship. And by the way, notice I didn't take the easy way out and say the Zenfone 9 is for those looking for a small Android phone. No, I think this is the best small phone, period. Apple has probably already axed its mini line, but if it were still making mini iPhones, it should take some notes from Asus. One complaint I often hear from phone fans is that mobile brands save the best hardware features for large phones, leaving the smaller phones in a lower tier. Well, Asus engineers made a good point during a recent media briefing, making a small flagship in 2022 is much more difficult than a decade ago because top mobile components have drastically increased in size. According to Asus, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip powering the Zenfone 9 is 10% larger in size than last year's Snapdragon 888, the Zenfone 9's improved camera system is 40% larger than the Zenfone 8's cameras, and the Zenfone 9's battery and thermal system are also much larger than last year. Despite that, Asus still managed to keep the Zenfone 9's overall footprint roughly the same, and the weight the same, as the Zenfone 8. Measuring 146.5 by 68.1 by 9.1 mm and weighing 169G, the Zenfone 9 is still a very small phone by 2022 standards. My thumb can indeed reach the other side of the screen easily, though it still needs to stretch a bit to reach the top corners. But that's a non-issue, because Android's UI, plus Asus software fine-tuning, means I never have to reach the very top of the screen to do anything. There's no annoying swipe from upper right corner action that the iPhones make me do a dozen times a day. I'll talk more about this later in the software section, but it's baffling to me how one hand unfriendly some other phone UIs are. Hope that review helped you a lot and we'll be back with more such interesting reviews in the future. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell icon to get more of these videos.